Okay, he's my corn, as you can see. The tassels are coming up at the top. They will eventually spread over, and if you hit the tree, pollen falls down. Um, you can actually see the pollen which has fallen on the leaves there. And in between each of these leaves is growing a corn. And these tassels on top of the corn are attached to the seeds inside. So when you actually eat a corn, every single one of those yellow um, pieces of corn is attached to one of these string. Well, not string, but um, it's attached to these. And <clears throat> these need to be pollinated in order for it to grow. So sometimes if you buy corn, you see some of the um, corn pieces actually empty. It's because one of these pieces didn't get pollinated. So when you grow them in massive fields, there's lots of wind and the pollen falls down and it lands on these and it pollinates them. Basically, you want to, each one of these needs to turn purple um, in, and that's how you know that they are sufficiently pollinated. However, over here, because I've only got a few of them, a few more over here, um, so they won't actually pollinate themselves. Like also in the field, when you have them, they, the outside of a field doesn't get pollinated only the inside ones. So what we're gonna do is, every single morning, that's the best time to do it, between like eight and nine in the morning, is I'll get a tray and I'll put it underneath and I'll shake the tops and the pollen will fall on the tray. I'll then get a paintbrush and I'll paint them on each of these. And I'll do that every single day. Um, and of course, on every single one, you have to go in between the plants to get them. And that's how you pollinate the corn.